Hi, in this video we're going to talk about uh, the derivative of exponential functions. So we have a generic exponential function like y is equal to a to the x, sorry, y, and um, we're going to change the value of a and see what happens to the derivative. So what we have here is a is 1.2 and I actually have created a file that tells us what's going to happen. Um, so let's change it to be a little bit bigger. So let's go 2, 2 to the x, yeah, 1.01 .01 is okay, it's about 2. So what this says here is this is telling us the slope at a, and it's saying that the slope is about 5. The slope is about 5 at the point 2.82, so right here. So you can see here that the slope the slope, which is just rise over run, run is 1, is being graphed right here, is this point's y value. So we're graphing the derivative at every single point. Okay. So if we move this point, you can see it's graphing the derivative at every single value. See the same x value and 3.28, then this red point's y value is 3.28. And as I drag it around, you can see that this red curve is the derivative of the graph of 2 to the x, or 2.01 to the x. Um, you can see that that's not quite the same, but you could definitely tell that the derivative is another exponential function, which makes sense because the derivatives are increasing, always increasing at an increasing rate, which means uh, so will the derivatives. Um, but what happens if I move A around? So let's move A around a little bit. Let's get rid of that. And if I make it bigger and then do the same thing, I can do this. But what I want to know is, is there a function that the derivative that is the same as the original function? And really what I need to do is drag this slider up until the red point is on the blue point. So let's do that. Let's just drag that up. Up, 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 up until 2.71. That looks about right. And if we drag it, drag the blue point, you can see, yeah, look at that. They're the same function. Well, you should be very, very familiar with 2.71. That is e to the x. So if y is equal to e to the x, then the derivative, y prime, is also equal e to the x. And what that means is that at any given point on the function, it's also its slope. So if I plug in uh, 2 and get some value over here, that's also the slope. The y value at every point on e to the x is also its slope. There is only one function that the y value is the same as its slope and that's e to the x. So hopefully I said that like five times. Hopefully you understand what the implications are. I plug in 3, I get e cubed. That's the y value. That's also the slope, e cubed. Okay, hopefully you got it. 